part of my thing. Yeah, I appreciate uh, everybody coming out. Uh, we had a great crowd. That's the first thing. I want to thank uh, Kansas State Nation for coming out. Uh, we had a phenomenal crowd and uh, uh, so appreciative of, of the following uh, that they give these guys. And uh, the, the, it, we, it does not go unnoticed. We are we're so excited to see such a big turnout. Uh, congratulations to, uh, to Navy, Coach uh, Niamatololo. They had a great game plan, and uh, they did a really good job. And uh, I thought offensively, uh, they did some really good things uh, with some different formations. Um, and Malcolm Perry's a great player, as we all know. Uh, I thought uh, we did a really nice job of, of slowing them down in the red zone and, and uh, give them credit. They, they pulled out a couple trick plays at the right time, and, uh, and they made those plays. And that's what the game's about, is making plays. And then uh, uh, I think uh, their defense did a nice job of just keeping us out of rhythm a little bit. And, and uh, uh, it, it's, it's a team game. And uh, we're never, ever going to point fingers at one side of the ball or another. We all had opportunities to make plays. Defense had opportunities. Special teams had opportunities. Offense had opportunities. Um, but my message to the guys was basically, um, thanks for laying the foundation for a new era of Kansas State football. And uh, so pleased uh, that I had the opportunity to coach those 27 seniors. Uh, they bought into the new voice in the front of the room. Uh, I told them we were going to challenge them. I told them we were going to love them. And I uh, told them we were going to believe in them. And we did all three of those things and poured our heart and soul into those guys. And they poured their heart and soul into us. And so uh, I'm sad for the seniors as far as having to end the season on a loss, but uh, appreciative of the foundation that they laid. And then uh, for the underclassmen, uh, I'm excited about uh, the future we have. And, uh, these two guys are, are epitome of what Kansas State football is all about and so excited for both those two guys to have another year because I love them and they know I love them and um, we're going to be back. All right, thank you, Chris. First question right here, what did you get the mic? Yeah, Coach, uh, before the last trick play there, just how much consideration did you give to calling a timeout? Well, we, we gave some consideration, but we were also hope, hopeful that we could get a stop and conserve our timeouts because it was under a minute to try to set up and get a field goal. Coach, after, after the first drive, it seemed like there were, was a lot of frustration just offensively until the final drive. What, what were they doing that made the offense ineffective? Well, they did a nice job of, of blitzing and then showing a blitz and getting out of a blitz when Skyler would check. They, did a, they had a nice game plan. Let's, let's give those guys credit. Um, uh, you know, you're right. We had some opportunities early to make some plays, and, and, and we didn't make the plays. And um, that, that's, that goes same thing on the other side of the ball. We had a couple times we could have tackled Malcolm Perry for a four-yard gain, and he breaks it and gets 15. You know, So uh, that's guys having the ability to make plays. And, and so um, you give them credit. For Chris, when a team runs the ball as effectively as Navy does, I mean, how much does it open things up for like the reverse or that halfback option at the last minute? And did that kind of catch y'all by surprise? Just well, it, it's difficult in, in general because a lot of things are, are man principles. And part of that is sometimes you also have a pitch responsibility. Uh, the, the reverse, our guy's in man coverage, and he's got to chase it down from the other side, and they cut him off. And that, that's, a really good, that's a really good call. Um, on the on the halfback pass, I, I didn't see um, the whole thing unfold other than I saw him running free, and I don't even know what the call was. Um, but once again, you just got to give those guys credit. They, they called it at the right time. How much does, you know, everybody on the defense, their eyes having to stick on Malcolm Perry kind of, you know, slow down the ability to react to, you know, a trick play or, you know, any kind of misdirection. Oh, absolutely. He's, he's a great college player. And, you know, he makes them go. And, and we had a Simon Sound football. I'll, I'll be honest with you. I thought our defense played really well. Uh, and, you know, if you would ask Ken if, if two of the plays they were going to score on would be trick plays or basically score on, I think he'd have been surprised too. Uh, but I'll tell you what, our guys played their tails off on defense. And, uh, uh, that, that's a team that's putting up 50 on everybody, uh, and, and we held them to 20 and, and gave up a couple of plays. Uh, Coach, you all went and stood with Navy after the game. Was that something you'd planned kind of before the game and just want to show respect to them with? Uh, I, I was. We were showing respect for sure, and, and I'm glad we did that. It, what an honor it is for, for our team and for our staff and for our administration to, to play the Naval Academy. I, I, I was 
thrilled when the matchup came out. I know it was going to be a difficult one from a football side of things. Forget the football side of things. Uh, what an honor it was for me to coach against the Naval Academy. I've, I have so much appreciation and respect for Coach Ken. He and I have been on some committees together. He's first class. Uh, he does things the right way. Uh, he's the epitome of what college football and college head coaches should be like. And, and so I, it was, for us, it was just uh, honoring the great tradition. Elijah, first of all, have, have you really seen a quarterback like Malcolm Perry? And then second, there were a lot of times when you guys did hold him to not many yards. Given that, how frustrating was it that some of the big plays came when you know he kind of reversed one from one side of the field to the other? I mean, first off, I mean, he's a great athlete, so you got to hats off to him. But, um, yeah, he's quick, fast. And like I always say, he runs their whole offense. So, I mean, it was a couple of plays that, you know what I'm saying, that were the turning point in the game, that like the reverse. Um, him running um, that long run, he got it uh, towards the beginning of the game. But, yeah, like I always said, man, he, he's he's the leader of their offense. He Everything runs through them. So, I mean, hats off to him. So. Chris, how pleased were you with uh, Skyler's ability to be able to engineer that, that drive to be able to tie the game towards the end? Yeah, it, it was a great drive, and we were able to get some rhythm, and, and we were able to pick up some of the pressure. They pressured us an awful lot, and, and so we were able to pick some things up, and uh, I was pleased with Joaquin Gill made a couple of a really nice plays on the drive, and, and uh, we were able to get some rhythm, and, and so you know that score got us back to tied and in, in reality we probably shouldn't have been tied they had really outplayed us in that second half but lo and behold we're in a tie game uh and then they convert a couple of third downs and do a nice job and skylar i was just curious uh, what kind of hunger this gives you entering your senior season with uh second year in the, in the offensive system yeah well uh you know i'm very fortunate to to have the opportunity to come back for another year um you know, I, I wanted this one really bad, um, and our whole team did. And it's just unfortunate that uh, balls didn't go our way today. You know, and but that that's part of it. And you know, football, we get caught up in all the wins and losses all the time. But you know, it's at the end of the day, it's not what it's all about. And uh, I'm just I'm, I'm thankful, thankful to have a head coach like Coach uh, Kleiman. Uh, it's been a tremendous year for me, personally. Uh, I've grown a lot um, on and off the field uh, with Coach Kleiman, and um, I, I truly have felt personal growth, and that, that's that's a really good feeling. Um, but at the same time, uh, I'm a competitor. Uh, our whole team is very competitive, and it, it, losing it's not fun, and uh, it, it will. A lot of spark in, in myself and this whole team. We got a lot of young guys uh, that are going to come back and, and and help us out next year. And you know, and a, a loss like this can can really you know set us up. And um, you know, we'll be sitting in our stomach for the next eight months. And you know, I'm going to do my best to to lead and to improve my leadership as much as I can and improve my game as much as I can. Um, and like I said, I'm very fortunate to have another year to come back. And, and play this game for one, one, one more year. And I'm going to give it everything I have. And I promise you that you know this time next year, I will have no regrets. And I'm already looking forward to getting back, getting back to it. Skyler, how hard was it just to get in an offensive rhythm against an opponent like that today? You know, it, it, it was. It was, it was, it was, uh, it was different. And, and they did have us, have us out of rhythm. And it's, it's just it's hard. It was hard because you know they were, they were they did a great job. Hats off to them. Uh, they did a, had a good game plan for us. Uh, we knew that they were a high pressure team. Um, they did a good job of mixing up their looks, showing it from one way and coming from the other way, and playing some different looks behind it that um, you know I, I wasn't really expecting. Um, and you know it just kind of kind of got us off rhythm. We kind of missed some plays there the first drive. I missed a throw. Uh, we had a drop ball. I mean. There's some plays that we left out there. All of us did, you know, not pointing fingers at, at one, one single person at all. Like it's a, it's a team effort, and we all could have made made a play that could have made a difference in the game. Um, but, you know, it, it was just a matter of, you know, of time. I kept on telling telling my guys that, you know, it's it's gonna it's just a matter of time. We're gonna get it clicking. We're gonna get it going. You know, we just gotta keep believing and keep trusting one another, 
um, and on that, that drive we scored a touchdown. Uh, that's exactly what happened. Um, you know, had two back-to-back -back passing plays that were, were big chunks and got us in position. And you know, I felt like we had all the momentum on our side, and that you know, if we got another opportunity at it, that we we would have been good to go. You know, I felt like our offense was we got kind of were able to take a deep breath, like oh, you know, we can get in the end zone. You know, so. Uh, but yeah, it's it was a it was a different flow of the game for sure, and it was. It was um, challenging, but uh, I knew that coming into the game, and you know it's, it's kind of like what I what I expected to be honest. But I think we had you know what sticks out to me is we had one drive in the third quarter. Uh, I'm pretty sure, and uh, I had a snap you know get snapped in the middle of checking the ball, and they're making some you know we just just can't have like stuff like that happen, and you know it it's uh, it's frustrating, but at the same time. It's a good opportunity to grow, uh, a lot of room for growth. And like I said earlier, have a have a spark lit inside of us for next year. And you know, we'll we'll be ready to go. Time for two more. One here and then we'll come to the end of the road. Coach, you touched on this, but Malcolm Perry ends up running for two thirteen and yet it seems like you did a pretty good job on him. That's gotta be amazingly frustrating. Not really, because I thought we did a good job on him. You know, I, I really did. And uh, um, give him credit. He's a terrific football player. And, and, and people that have followed Navy have seen him do this to everybody. Um, and we, we knew they were going to move the ball between the 20s, and we had to find a way to stop yes. him in the red zone. And I thought we did a nice job of that. One final one on the end of the row. I, I actually have two, if that's okay, so I can make it like two for one, if that's, if that's all right. Uh, and coach, both of these, both of these are for you. Uh, just first off, just how big was the play the special teams really keep you guys in the game between Philip, Philip's return and Blake making his kick, and then obviously Devin with more great punting. Yeah, we did a really nice job on special teams. We'd prepared really well. We thought we had an opportunity to make a play on the punt return, and we had to even have a nice kick return in there as well. Didn't capitalize, but uh, uh, special teams has, has been great for us all year long, and was excited for Devin to, to end, end the, his career uh, with a really nice day, and, and Blake's been steady all year. And then that was the other thing I was going to bring up was, you know, the, the, the third quarter you guys get that great return from Malik and get the 40-yard line. Just how costly was it not to be able to capitalize on that field position? Absolutely, especially when the possessions and plays were so limited and uh, um, we needed to be able to capitalize and, and uh, give those guys credit. They, they did a nice job.